thing, some of the other things I nearly did was um, I nearly joined Mother Hoople. Uh, it was after Mick Ralphs had left and he, they were looking for a replacement. And uh, they, they, in the end, they ended up with uh, Luther Van Dross, didn't they? Or, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Luther Grosvenor. Oh, I'd have to see them with Luther Van Dross. Um, <laughs> uh, Anyway, I did this when I was solo. I, I had Diamond Road out as a single, and I went to Germany to do a television show to promote it. And on the show were Al Martino, Lindsay Paul, and Motta Hoople. And we go back a long way in Motta Hoople and the Man Band because, like, coming from Hereford, that almost makes them Welsh. <laughs> so we used to go on, you know, not the Irish. I mean, it required people to be Welsh to like them. But um, anyway, uh, he and I were having a, having a drink, and he, and he said, you know, we nearly had you in, you were in the frame for the job in Mott Hoople. I said, well, what, what happened? <laughs> you know, and he said, um, well, we heard of your legendary drug intake, <laughs> and we didn't think you'd be able to hold it together. I said, right, drug intake has nothing to do with how I hold it together. <laughs> but anyway, I needed John Mott Hoople, so that was another one I think. The other one was, um, well, there's two more. Uh, was, um, yes, Lemmy. We did this tour of America with Hawkwind, and it was a fucking great tour. In the height of the hippie days, it was all fucking people wearing fucking angel outfits and smoking fucking all kinds of fucking shit. Brilliant it was, it was a really good time. Now, I don't know whether you've noticed or not, but Lemmy really isn't a hippie. <laughs> and you could tell that he could do it, you know, he could do it, but he was obviously getting fed up with the fucking old wind, chugging away about space rock. I said to Dave Brock once, I said, you know, what about you don't just, you, later on this was, and I said, you've stopped doing space rock, he said. Well, we found space so limiting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, going back to America, we would, it, it got to the point where Lemmy was obviously on the verge of leaving the band, because he was playing less, he'd arrive later and later at the gigs and somebody else would play the bass until he got there. And it got to the point where he'd only arrive for the encore, <laughs> which just happened to be Silver Machine. <laughs> so he, all he did was come up really late from the hotel, swan in, pick up the bass while all his shield was gone, and walk on and do Silver Machine, and that was his bit. So we, didn't, we, we got caught in a tornado in Nashville which was a terrifying experience. Uh, so we were in this bar one night, and um, we said to Lem, you know, you're not long for this band, are you, Lem? And he said, nah, he said, a bunch of fucking hippies. <laughs> and he said, I'm, I'm leaving after this tour. Uh, he said, what, what are you gonna do? He said, I'm gonna put, put a heavy metal trio together. <laughs> and I thought, well, and with me and Terry went, nah, you, that's not going to catch on, this is, this is all love and peace, man, you know, it's not going to catch on. He said, well, why don't you two join me, and we'll have a go at it, heavy metal, three piece. And we went, nah, nah, won't work, won't work, Lemmy, won't work. So I fucked up there. <laughs> Not for the first time, I'm sure not for the last fucking time. <laughs> uh, the other one was um, Long John Baldry. And Long John Baldry is a bit of a hero because he was just at the start of the blues thing, you know. Cause I'm a Monday, great singer, I think. Mind for tour. And um, he, this was in, well, I can't remember the day. I can't remember the dates, I'm sorry. But he lived in, he moved to Canada. And he was coming off 
coming over to Britain to um, to do a tour on a European tour, and um, the man band were going to back him. Um, I was quite excited because you know all that Alexis Corner and the Blues Incorporated and all that sort of stuff. I was really excited. And two days before he was due to come over, he fucking died. <laughs> Some people got no consideration. <laughs> <laughs>